I want to welcome you to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yaya Diamond. What's up, peoples? How you doing? It is a great day, and I'm so very excited to do this. It has been a minute since I've been back. Man, I'm telling you, I got my butt kicked by the flu, but I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, and I'm back to do this. You know, I love poetry, love poetry, and I absolutely love this next artist. He is no stranger to Dream Chasers Radio. I want to go ahead and show you guys his latest book, The Memorandum and Ode to the Workplace or something like that, short poems and stories about the workplace. And I thought that this was so cool because like the workplace. Okay. So yeah, I mean, all of us have a workplace. Even if you have, you know, your own business, you still have a workplace. And sometimes it can be a little monotonous. I, I love, love, love his poems. I love the way he structures them. And I absolutely love what he does when he does it. Oh, yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and check this out real quick. I want to show you guys the inside of this memorandum. So you know, it's it's really cool. I love the cover. I absolutely love the cover because it's like, oh my gosh, no, not her again. She's nagging again. Oh no. <laughs> but okay, so it is an ode to the workplace. And there are a few different things here, but um he has a lot of different chapters too. I love it. It's not just like one or two poems. This is like he really put a lot of work into this. I wanted to go ahead and recite the first poem. So it says, first things first. It's obvious that working here isn't your first choice. It's written all over your face. Same for me when I started years ago. I sort of fell into it when I was younger, looking for a job and sick of the situation I had at the time. A friend I knew worked here and it didn't seem so bad. I remember something like this with my, my last job. Yep, my friend was working there and she was like, hey, you got to get a job here. So that's what I did as well. A friend I knew worked here and it didn't seem so bad. When I first started, I enjoyed every bit of the physical aspect, but still I had a goal in mind. You have to have one of those to make things a little easier. It'll definitely help you deal with the volume of work and people who see your light and want to diminish it. Oh, hello. 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 Are we talking yet? Are we talking yet? <laughs> All the time juggling someone looking over you like you're five years old, but has the audacity to throw a temper tantrum when you're the one that must correct them. Ooh. 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 Excuse me. While you work here, it's good to have something going on the side. Maybe finish your education if you haven't started already. If I were in your shoes, I would. You have the whole world ahead of you. Nothing they ever say or do can take that away from you. I love that. I absolutely love it. And then we go to the end. You know, I absolutely love that. I love the the whole poem thing and I but most of all it's real. It's real. It's a real poem. It's real. It's like that happens. That happens. And so many more poems that he has in his book. I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the description box below for the memorandum and uh I want you guys to go ahead and check this out for yourselves. I mean this could this could really get you through the work week. <laughs> It can really get you through the work week, but not only that, it can definitely get you through some ups and downs and some ins and outs and kind of bring you kind of bring you back to remembering when you first started working where you're working today. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to dare to be different and don't forget to go ahead and check this book out for yourselves. And until next time, guys. Bye.